Some time ago, we published a series on linear algebra. If you didn't watch it yet, I would recommend at least going through it at a brisk pace, even if you're already familiar with linear algebra. Sure, you already knew about vectors. But did you know that functions are vectors? That sound waves can be projected onto each other using an inner product? that AI can discover new semantic concepts by using matrix decompositions, or that quantum physics uses matrices with complex numbers in order to rotate the colors of quarks. We also looked at the dynamics of a population of trolls and unicorns, and we talked about some cool applications in AI, sound filtering, and data science. We are now starting a new series in which you will learn a lot more about vectors. And I hope this will include many things you haven't heard about before, such as contravariance, dual vectors, tensors, the wedge product, and much more. The reason we need all of these additional concepts is basically physics. In order to describe the real world, we need more than just vectors. And so we will extend linear algebra in two different directions. First, we notice that the components of a vector behave in a very odd way. They transform in the opposite direction from the basis vectors. We call this behavior contravariance, and it leads us to discover a brand new kind of vectors called one-forms. With this new discovery, linear algebra becomes tensor algebra. Second, we want to turn vectors into numbers. We already did this for 2D vectors. We found a multiplication that allows us to divide by vectors, and the resulting 2D number system is called the complex numbers. We now want to see if and how we can extend these ideas to higher dimensions. In order to pull this off, we have to invent a new product called the geometric product and we use it to construct new kinds of objects called multivectors. This turns linear algebra into geometric algebra. All those multivectors live in a vast space whose dimension is always a power of two, and that is a consequence of the Pascal triangle. We will unfold many of these kinds of connections. The amazing thing about geometric algebra is that it solves dozens of problems at once. For example, there are things in physics that look like vectors, but they behave nothing like traditional vectors. Physicists call these things pseudo-vectors, and there are even objects they call pseudo-scalars. We don't like it when things are pseudo. We want to understand what these objects really are. It will turn out that they are multivectors. Why does the cross product behave in such a weird way? because it's related to a multivector. Why does a torque or a magnetic field flip from up to down when I look at it in a mirror? Because it's actually a multivector. Along the way, we will discover that every 2D plane in our higher dimensional spaces contains a copy of the complex numbers. Do you want to know why? Because the complex numbers are actually multivectors. The same is true for quaternions and for other well-known objects from math and physics. Geometric algebra brings all of these concepts and theories together into a single amazing picture. People in the comments often get really excited about the upcoming videos. They say things like, oh, I can't wait to learn about tensor algebra. The thing is, you actually don't have to wait. The videos are already on Patreon. You can go and binge them right now. It takes two minutes to set up an account, and you will support our brave little channel at the same time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and welcome to the wonderful world of OneForms and Tensors.